So you're graduating. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I see that you got a 4.0. Close. Yeah, I think uh, it's pretty close up to that. I thought you only like finance. You like other subjects too, huh? Oh, uh, there's marketing. Uh, that was pretty good. Big fan of that. Uh, also the economics and innovation courses. I think I took an equal amount of those uh, as well as finance. So pretty, pretty split. Great, great, great. So like, why did you choose to, you know, like for students who are coming in later and just to sell our uh, finance uh, discipline a little bit more, why did you choose to uh, like major in finance? Yeah, I found finance extremely interesting, mainly through the 2FA3 course that you taught back in second year. Um, also that year, you had allowed two students to come in and to speak to a program called Bridge to Capital Markets, uh, which is something that actually helped further my interest in finance. And it was through that combination, I was able to you know, leverage what I was taught in class uh, to connect with further peers at McMaster who have completed finance internships. And that allowed me to kind of break into the industry and, you know, kind of get my feet wet with CIBC and then continue learning through 3FA3 and the other courses that Mac had to offer. That is awesome. I always liked the way you always responded in the class and participated in the classroom. That's what caught my eyes. You know, there are a lot of students who do get uh, 12 in a course, but not a lot of students who, you know, essentially get like stare back at you, right? So. So I was very happy when you chose to be the TA for a couple of my courses. And I can tell you, I mean, you can tell a little bit about your experience in uh, TAing the courses, uh, but I can tell you in the last semester where you did not TA my course, the students missed you. They were asking for you. I missed them as well. Yeah, first I talked a lot because I always thought there was participation marks. Uh, so <laughs> always try and get the easy marks. That's what keeps the GPA high. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think the TA experience was really great. Um, you allowed me and gave me the opportunity to have presentations, make the course really interactive with students and also bring in stuff uh, that I learned through clubs such, such as the DeGroote Finance and Investment Council and really pull it into some of those lectures. Um, and I thought it was extremely beneficial, not only for myself, because, you know, it kept me keeping up with current news to talk about to students. Um, but I think it was nice for students too to see, hey, you know, when you learn about CCA depreciation and mm. isolation, it's not that cool, right? But if you look at, you know, the broader scope of what you can learn through 2FA3, 3FA3, and in partnership with some of our clubs in the later year courses, uh, there's really a lot of interesting knowledge that you could gain. That is awesome. And I like the fact that how uh, you have gotten involved with a couple of finance clubs and you know, taken some of your younger peers into the club for like, so that, you know, kids over the years get to run the club and be part of the club and get to know finance outside of the classroom as well. This is really highly appreciated. And I was very happy when your club, uh, didn't you guys win something, your club? Yeah. So this year we actually won club of the year. Uh, it was a really big effort. We had a really great team working towards this goal. And we actually ended up combining this year, three clubs, um, so the McMaster Investment Council, the Group Finance Association, and the Private Equity and Venture Capital uh, Club all came together to kind of form this one force. Um, and everybody's sole goal was helping students, A, learn about finance, B, network with peers, and then provide them with the opportunities to actually break into the industry. And I really think we were successful with doing that, which was great. We have a lot of now first, second, and third year students, all in incredible internships, like I didn't really know what investment banking was or corporate finance really until I took, you know, 2FA3 and it was already winter, right? These students now are able to break in immediately and then, you know, they have a really big edge. Is that why students seem to know more nowadays so that they don't ask me any more questions in the classroom? Uh, probably. It's a good way to supplement the learning in class. You know, it saves you some emails as well. Yeah, it does. Or makes me get emails which I don't understand anymore. <laughs> so, so, uh, so where do you see these clubs going ahead in like in the next five, 10 years, the clubs that you help to develop? Yeah, I basically see them A, just acting as that, you know, key resource for students when they're entering and leaving McMaster to have that initial connection to the finance community and also help develop the finance community as, you know, we leave McMaster and get older. I think that's a really big uh, benefit of this club where, 
you know, we could have now 15, 20 students graduating who are entering the finance community. And in five or 10 years, they'll be in hiring or manager positions where they're actually able to continue to support McMaster and bring in more students. So I think that's something, you know, that's really beneficial. And I guess only time will tell uh, to see, you know, how well that plan uh, goes through. That segues, segues perfectly to my next question. When can I start sending students to you for internships? Five yeah, we're going to have to wait a little. I'm still in, uh, I'm still in training again. I feel like an intern again, but uh, this is week one for me back at National Bank. I work in the Diversified Industries Group. Uh, so we cover everything from, you know, transportation uh, to death care to clean technology, pretty, you know, broad spectrum uh, offered within the group. Uh, but yeah, by, you know, next five years, hopefully I'll be in the associate position and then, uh, then we'll see from there. Fingers crossed about that. So yeah. that, yeah, that's your future plans. I also like, you know, just we are finance folks, so we are not renowned to be, you know, touchy feely. But just yeah. to uh, make the make the conversation a little bit, you know, uh, softer. Uh, so, what was your favorite memory? I know that you helped so many students in my classroom, and your peers were very, you know, uh, spoke always spoke very highly of you. What was your favorite memory, or what achievement, and what achievement made you most proud? Yeah, I would say some of my best memories come from just having the opportunity to like meet peers who actually became some of my closest friends. I remember like back in first and second year. I didn't stay in residence. I didn't stay on campus. I actually commuted to McMaster. Uh, so that was obviously like a little bit of a disconnect, uh, mainly because I, I would just leave campus at the end of the day, right? There was no staying around for what happened in res. Um, and there's no bus to my house either. I live a little bit outside the bus line. Uh, so, you know, wasn't able to go to Hess with everybody in the capacity that I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I think Mac really provided me the opportunity to build like lifelong friendships. Um, and, you know, I could even count 10 in my head right now where they're just solid individuals who I know over the next few years, I'll interact with them in my career, in my personal life. And, you know, I'm really happy that I went to McMaster because without that, I wouldn't have had that opportunity. Mm, so it's all work and no play for Marco, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's still a little bit of play. <laughs> okay. You'll catch me at Club Absinthe when, uh, when bands are allowed to play there again. So you you are still playing uh, music. You're still doing music. Still playing music. Yeah, yeah. Haven't haven't stopped. So got into a bunch of different uh, genres. Went from like metal in first year to country when I played with the Rec Laws at the 1280. That was a fun time. Mm -hmm. And then now a little bit of tech and EDM. So it's been oh, good. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. So before I let you go, tell me, uh, because you have been a, almost a model student, I, I would term you as a model student that I had in my class. So for a model student, how does a regular day look like? Yeah. So first thing that uh, I would say is get good at building financial models. That's probably uh, one of the most important things about being a model student. It saves you a lot of time in some mm -hmm. of your courses. But day in the life, you know, usually just I like to get up early, work out, just get that out of the way right away, just so I could, you know, be healthy. And I find it helps me concentrate later in the day. Then right in the morning, I always enjoy reading a bunch of different news sources. So, you know, I open up Bloomberg, Reuters, BetaKit, TechCrunch, pretty much a wide spectrum of what's out there. And then I have a bunch of newsletters coming in throughout the day. I think that's always important because, you know, it's interesting, obviously, what you learn in school, but if you can apply it to what's going on in the real world through news and different transactions that are happening in capital markets, it's always interesting. Uh, and then from there, you know, I would usually TA a course with uh, 2FA3 or 3FA3 uh, in the morning, which was good. And the rest of the day was just dedicated to whatever classes I had. I think, you know, the online capability provided a good way of using extra time to actually do more research and be more engaged. Um, but it'll be nice when everybody's in person and, you know, you can walk around campus. It's easier to get your 10,000 steps in that way. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So uh, thank you for, you know, uh, sharing this interview with me or discussion with me. And I really do look forward to having you as a guest lecturer in my class someday soon. Yeah, looking forward to that as well. And, you know, thanks again for a great four years. I really appreciate it. You're welcome and you deserve everything, every good thing that comes your way. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Ahmed. Take care. Take care.